it's only the second week of ABC's The Bachelor and one suitor from South Florida is already stirring things up on the reality romance series. That's former Miami Dolphins cheerleader B.B. Anna Julian who had several moments and the last word on Monday night's episode. From competing in a demolition derby challenge or schooling another contestant that's it not okay to interrupt her one-on-one -on -one time with new bachelor and former race car driver Ari Leendijk Jr., Julian lit up the Twitterverse and fans applauded her tell it like it is manner. The audacity to interrupt out of all people, the girl who has been waiting around to talk Ari, she vented on camera about how fitness coach Crystal Nielsen butted in on her time with The Bachelor. During a cocktail party, Julian confronted Nielsen. If I'm trying to talk to my man, you need to back the bleep up that's all I gotta say, she said. Julian also criticized Nielsen's high-pitched voice. South Florida viewers may have spotted three local suitors when ABC's The Bachelor reality romance series returned January. Won the show, which airs 8 p.m. Mondays, introduced 29 women seeking the heart of new Bachelor and former race car driver Ari Leendijk Jr. For the show's 22nd season. Leendijk. South Florida viewers may have spotted three local suitors when ABC's The Bachelor reality romance series returned January. Won the show, which airs 8 p.m. Mondays, introduced 29 women seeking the heart of new Bachelor and former race car driver Ari Leendijk Jr. For the show's 22nd season. Leendijk. Honestly. I think that when you learn to speak to me like a normal human being and not with a fake tone, then I can actually respect you and listen to what you have to say," added Julian, rolling her eyes. But if you really think that I'm going to fall for this little, making fun of Nielsen's voice. You have to be kidding me. And when Nielsen tried to defend herself, Julian declared mic drop and walked away. Here are what viewers are saying about Julian, 30 who received a rose from Luyen Dyke and will be back for next week's episode, 8 p.m. January 15